Poxa de Deus, poxa de Deus, poxa de Deus. Of course, I'm going to give folks some time to trickle in. So for those of you who are watching on the replay, please just fast forward until you see the title of uh, today's live pop up on the screen. I appreciate everybody in advance. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to be live on both YouTube and Instagram. Let me get my Instagram. Set up. Here we go. Here we go. I want everybody to tell me which city that, that they're in. As you guys trickle in, let me know which city you're in. Because I am going to start planning for this season's meetups. So I need to know where everyone is. I need to know where my where my, my Brick Squad family is, so I can pull up on y'all. Uh, come on, boom, this is what I'm doing. Yeah, that's perfect. Alabama. Shout out to Alabama. All right, here we go. All right, that works. All right, bong, bong. Yeah. Got that right. Start now. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to show you all my junk. All right, so today's topic, five tricks I learned for effective weight loss. If you're watching on Instagram, I do advise you to come check me out on YouTube. Way better experience. Got some interactive things happening on the screen. Don't want to miss out on that. Um, so go to my, my YouTube channel right now if you are watching on Instagram. If you can. If not, Instagram's fine. Just know I can't see the comments. Um, matter of fact, if I move this up a bit, I may be able to. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I'll do that. I hope everyone's having a what's today? Thursday. I yo, I never know what day it is. This is crazy. This is well. All right, so today we're gonna be discussing five tricks that I learned for effective weight loss. Now there's a difference between losing weight, just losing weight to see the number on the scale go down, and and doing it in a safe, effective way sustainable way. I want everybody to add sustainability to their approach, to their goal. Like we all, of course, we want to lose weight. Of course, we want to work out as fast. We, we want to lose weight as fast as we can. But do it with sustainability in mind, guys. Please do it with sustainability in mind. You don't want to just lose weight to lose weight because you can be losing bone, you could be mus losing muscle, you could be losing all types of fluids, blood, all of that good stuff. You don't want to, you want to do it the right way. And most of the times when we starve ourselves and we do these like aggressive diets, that is not the answer. That is actually very ineffective and it's, and it's potentially dangerous. You, I'm pretty sure, and let me speak for my stove. I experienced metabolic damage because I was, I was dieting too aggressively. I was doing way too much cardio. That is not the answer. What's up, Jeff Shell? This fat boy needs some help. No, nah, I got you. If you need help, I, I am taking on online coaching clients right now. So if you go to brickstraining.com, I, um, you can sign up for a discovery call. You will talk to me personally. I am, uh, we probably got about eight slots left, eight online coaching slots available right now. So go to brickstraining.com and uh, sign up. Let's, 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 and here's the thing. Don't sign up if you're not ready. I know I, I, I always say when I talk about my coaching, because I get a lot of people who call me 
And they're like, yeah, I don't know if I'm ready. Okay, that's fine. I get that. I've been there. I know what it's I know what it's like to not be 100% ready. That's fine. It's when you're ready. When you're ready because it doesn't help me to take your money if you're not ready. For sure. All right, so I guess we'll jump right into it. So mindful eating. Mindful eating I think is such an underrated uh topic when it comes to effective long-term weight loss. A lot of us, we just scarf down our food. We're not thinking. We're watching. We're scrolling YouTube. I mean, we're scrolling Instagram. We're watching YouTube. We're watching TV. We're talking. Like, you really have to practice being present with your food because it changes the experience, right? You're able to slow down. You're able to allow satiety to kick in, which is the most important reason why mindful uh, mindful eating should be added to you know, to to your habits, right? You want to slow down. So now in the evening, when I when I eat uh, dinner, it's it's a rule: no phone, no TV, no iPad. It's just me and my meal, and I make sure that I take my time. I chew my food because if you if you see, here's the thing: satiety takes a certain amount of time to kick in, which means satiety meaning the feeling of being full. So if you eat super duper fast and you're not giving your satiety time to kick in, you can consume way too many calories before you feel the fullness. When you take your time, not only do you allow satiety to kick in, but you also enjoy your food more. You also enjoy your meal. You're not just like inhaling it. Listen, I grew up in a, in a household where I don't know, we just kind of just, we ate fast. I don't, I did it at school, I get it. But when I slowed down, like I said, I was full fast. I mean, I, the meal was more satisfying, right? As far as satiety, like me feeling full, and I also enjoyed it more, right? I was able to be present with the flavors. I was able to, um, really, really fully enjoy and be present with my meal instead of just slow down. That's the first tip, right? Slow down. Put it in the, put it in the, uh, in the comments. If you guys eat too fast, let me know if, if it's just me. I know it's not just me that just, that eats way too fast. Tell me, put it in the comment section. If, if you, if you know, you need to slow down when you eat, let me see something. Let me see some price is too high. Devante, what prices are too high? Prices for what? You know, you know what price is too high? Being unhealthy. The price of being health unhealthy is too high. It's costing you. It's costing you moments of your life. It's, it's costing you years of your life. It's, it's costing you quality of life. I hate when people talk about. Uh, what am I drinking? I hate when people say oh, eating healthy is too expensive. That's bull. It's bull. It's bull. It's bull. I'm drinking a bubbly. Drop the prices. Nah, bro. Matter of fact, the prices are going up. I honestly undercharge for my services. So get your money up. All right. Um, my man gifted XI said, I could eat two plates in three minutes. Sheesh. That's, bro, that's some Guinness World Book of Records stuff right there. Three minutes, two plates. That's a lot. Yeah, see, a lot of people eat too fast. What's up, Lamont? 6954, what's up? Listen, Twisty, we got to tell them. Yesterday's price is not today's price. I know what my service. Listen, if you go to brickstraining.com, any you talk to any one of my clients, they I'm pretty sure they will tell you that they are getting 10 times the value than they're paying for. Period. I'm not dropping my prices. I'm just not. I know my services are effective. And, and for the people who are ready, it's going to transform you. So no, I'm sorry. Because I'm pretty sure the people who complain about prices. They have Jordans on their feet. 
They got 60 inch TVs on their screen, but they don't want to invest in their health. Sorry, not, not me. All right, the next, the next thing I want to talk about is the calorie deficit combo. Calorie deficit combo. So now there's two ways to create calorie deficits, right? You want to remember the key to fat loss, no matter what diet you're doing, no matter what philosophy you, you're, no, no matter what type of exercise, no matter who your coach is, when it comes down to it, weight loss is about creating a calorie deficit. Now there's two ways to create a calorie deficit by eating less calories or burning more calories. It's really simple. It's really, truly simple. There's two ways to create a calorie deficit. So for those who don't know what a calorie deficit is, so you have a certain amount of calories that you eat. Let's say at 3,000 calories, you maintain your weight. You stay the same exact weight if you eat 3,000 calories a day. Excuse me. And let's say you eat 3,000 calories a day, you burn 3,000 calories a day, boom. Your, your weight stays constant. In order to lose weight, you have to burn more calories than you consume. So let's say you consume 3,000 calories a day. So if you want to lose weight, you either have to burn more than 3,000 calories or you have to eat less than 3,000 calories. It's simple. So the combination of activity and Calorie intake monitoring is how you lose weight. It's really simple. And that's why I don't really subscribe to certain people who say, oh, you don't need to count calories in order to lose weight. Yes, you do. You do have to count calories. You have to, for at least a period of time, know exactly what you're putting into your face. If you, what it's measured gets managed. I'm going to put that on the screen real quick. That's one of my, that's one of my go-to mantras. What gets measured gets managed. You don't measure it, you can't manage it. You don't know what's going on. Hold on, let me write this real quick. What gets measured gets managed. If you're watch, if you're on YouTube, I mean, if you're watching me on Instagram, come over to YouTube. It's a way better experience. And I'm gonna be doing Q and A at the end, so stay tuned. And I'm gonna go through these tips pretty quickly. Also, BricksTraining.com. If you are looking for online coaching, I'm currently taking on online coaching clients. So go to BricksTraining.com. Sign up for a discovery call. You will talk to me personally. Please don't sign up if you're just, yo, I want to holler at you. Nah. If you really are serious, you're ready to commit, you're ready to see transformation. I want to be a part of people's transformations. So it's important to me that I work with people who are at the stage of their process where they are ready to lock in. That's when I want you to come holler at me. I don't care how much money you have. If you're not ready to lock in, if you're not at that stage where you're like, yo, listen, this is it. I'm tired of doing it my way. I need the support. I need the accountability. Then you go to BricksTraining.com and you sign up for a discovery call. But before that moment, don't go to BricksTraining.com and sign up for a discovery call. Don't just continue to consume content and educate yourself and pray and meditate and whatever it is you do before you are ready. Listen, it took me. I struggled with weight loss for like 10 years before it clicked. So this is not me judging anyone. I've been there a very long time. I understand that. So it's never, you know, this is not judgment, but I want to work with the people who are at that point where they're like, yo, I, you know, enough is enough. I'm ready to do this for real. And if that's where you are, if that sounds like you, go to BricksTraining.com. Let's work together. I want to be a part of. I want to be a part of your transformation. That's what I love. That's what I was born to do. I have the. You know, I've been doing this now for eight years. I have a system that works. The system works. So go to BricksTraining.com. Sign up for a call. So what gets measured gets managed. So yeah, calories, right? Calorie deficit, the combination of activity and um, controlling your intake. You don't want to, you want to make sure that you are counting your calories. And then there's a balance there, right? So for me, as I get deeper and deeper into my weight loss cut, like right now I'm on a cut. I'm trying to, you know, get ready for the summer. As I get deeper and deeper into my cut, I would rather increase my activity 
then reduce my calories. I like I don't like eating underneath 2200 calories. Once I get to about 2200 calories, that's when if I want to continue my weight loss, if I want to continue my fat loss, I increase activity. I add more steps, I add longer, you know, weight training sessions, what have you. I increase my activity. But just understand what balance of activity addition or calorie reduction works for you. It's a sliding scale. Pay attention to your energy levels when you eat a certain amount of calories. Pay attention to your appetite when you do a certain amount of activity. Like start to pay attention and you'll figure out what's the right balance between calorie deficit and activity for you, right? You got to figure that out on your own unless you get a coach and your coach can help you with that. All right, the next, the next, uh, I guess, and these are not tricks, right? These, this is just how you do it. <laughs> but the next trick is, um, so if you don't know much about nutrition, right? If you don't know much about nutrition, and you wanna, you wanna, a basic outline to follow, I would, I would focus on eating a high protein diet for many reasons, right? Protein has a higher thermic effect, which means your body has to burn more calories to digest and metabolize protein than it does any other uh, macronutrient, right? It takes more energy for your body to burn and metabolize protein than it does carbs and fats, which means you burn more calories because you're eating more proteins. And also protein helps keep you, keeps you, it helps keep you feeling full. The satiety levels of protein, you know, it, it will keep you feeling fuller longer. And here's one of the most basic golden rules of weight loss. You should never be hungry. You should never be hungry. Don't ever be hungry. If you're in the middle of a weight loss journey and you find yourself hungry all the time, that is a problem. You are setting yourself up for failure if you find yourself constantly hungry. Don't allow yourself to get hungry. Don't. You don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to be hungry, especially when you're eating the right types of food. So, see, see, the thing is, when you're eating foods that aren't calorie dense, right? When you're eating more cleaner whole foods, you get a, you get way more volume for your calories. Like I want to tell you at least 8 out of 10 of my clients when I switched when they, when they start eating a more whole foods diet and it's not fried and it's not with a bunch of butter and oil, they complain about being able to get enough calories. They, they say they can't get enough calories because when you're eating cleaner, the, the, there's not that many calories in the food. Like if you, you could have a big plate of brown rice and broccoli and chicken breasts and it looks, it, it's a bunch of food and it can be like 300 calories, 400 calories, right? It depends, right? Obviously. So um, how did I get to that? So I was talking about high protein, but... um. Yeah, focus on eating a higher protein diet. It's like a cheat sheet. If you don't really understand macronutrients, but but also do not be afraid of carbs. Carbs are not the enemy, guys. Oh man, carbs are not the enemy. Carbs are not the enemy. You everyone has different carb tolerances for sure. But do not villainize carbs. You can eat carbs. I eat at least Two to three hundred grams of carbs every single day, and I'm like, I'm getting ripped right now. Eating three hundred carbs a day. So if you are training hard, right, you're lifting weights, you are. Ah, oh man, I need to add this one. Hold on. Matter of fact, this is gonna be a bonus one. This is gonna be a, a bonus trick or tip, if you will. Matter of fact, let's get right into. I'm gonna skip right to it. You guys need to go to bed. Listen, I, yo, there's so many clients 
everything. They're doing everything right. They're training hard. They're in a calorie deficit, but they're not sleeping, and it stops their progress. It stops their progress. You need to sleep. It helps you manage the hormonal issues that you may have, your stress, the overthinking, the, 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 the carb cravings. Uh, sleep is such an important, listen, it's calories, exercise, sleep. That's the trifecta. That is the trifecta. Make sure you are getting enough sleep. And I'd say at least six and a half hours of sleep, at least. Ideally seven, you want to get at least set six. I'm personally, I'm good. I'm good with six hours, six and a half hours. It depends. You want to experiment. When I get more than seven hours, it's too much for me. But you want to make sure that you're getting enough sleep. Right? It's super duper vital. Super duper vital. All right. So the next thing I want to talk about is non-exercise activity right and try to have fun try to find fun ways to just move i do a lot of walking if i'm on a phone like if i'm taking a call i'm i'm walking if you know i bought my ipad so that i can edit while i walk right um play with your neighbor's kids play with your kids run around with your dog just play basketball like Whatever you enjoy, if you can find a way to move your body while having fun and make that a daily practice in some way, that is a game changer because all of that movement adds up. That all adds up. And it's effective. People sleep on walking. Walking is such an underrated tool. I walk, I walk at least 12,000 steps a day at this point in my in my cut 12,000 steps and it's easy all you listen you could walk around your listen i do wraps around i do laps around my island while i'm talking i don't care if you do laps in your kitchen do laps in your kitchen whatever you need to do to just get the activity it counts it counts park in the back of the parking lot take the stairs stop taking the elevator to the second floor Y'all need to cut that shit out. Stop taking the elevator to the second floor. Stop taking the elevator to the third floor. Walk. It's an easy way to just slide in some little extra activity. What? Somebody put in the comment section, why, why do you take the elevator to the second floor? Why? I know somebody's guilty of this. Matter of fact, expose yourself. If you get in the elevator and you hit the number two, expose yourself right now. I know nobody's going to admit to this. <laughs> Don't do it. For what? It's one flight of stairs. Stairs are your friend. Make friends with the stairs. Yo, if it's, if it's less than four flights, I'm walking. I am walking. All right. I just switched to the to the chat. I'm checking. I'm checking out your messages in the chat. Shout out to my online coaching client, Chelsea. What's up? She is killing it. I appreciate that love. Shout out to the number one trainer. Thank you. But it takes my number one client. To call me my the number one trainer, I appreciate that. All right, Anthony said he walks a minimum of thirty minutes at the gym, and here's another thing too: in between sets, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. If you guys are lifted in between sets, don't sit down. Walk, walk, walk around, walk, walk around the weight bench. In between sets, when you're done your sets, don't put the weights down and sit on your ass. Just walk. You'll be surprised how many how many steps you can accrue. Just move, keeping it moving. 
while you're while you're lifting weights. You're kind of like you can you can really knock out cardio and weights at the same time, right? Because walking is cardio. Let's not get it twisted. Even though your heart rate isn't, the activity still counts. It still counts. Love the bubbly strawberry flavor. Yes, this is, and this is another. I want to call it a hack, right? I, I I drink carbonated drinks because a lot of times we think we're hungry. We're not hungry. You just want to eat something, and bubbles helps, you know, kind of control the uh, you know, the cravings. Helps control the cravings. So, carbonated drinks add activity wherever you can. Walk in between sets. Walk what if you get on a call? If, listen again. I don't know if everyone's home is big enough, but I don't care if you have a small living room. You can walk in a circle, like like a like a weird dog. But not, don't. You, all I'm saying is find ways to increase your activity. Just living regular life. When I get on the phone, it's almost like a habit. I walk around. I pace, and those those steps add up. Sometimes I'll look up, it's 10 o'clock, I already got 7,000 steps, and I hadn't even gone on a walk yet. It's just because I'm active. I'm going up and down the stairs, I'm doing laundry, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Just find ways to keep your body moving. If you make it a habit to just keep your body moving. Look, I just got a reminder from my from my watch. Tom, success is walking, walk. And, and, and when I get these little reminders, I just get up and I move, that's it. You don't want to be sitting at a desk for more than 20 minutes at a time anyway. 20 minutes, 30 minutes, get up. Walk for a few minutes. <laughs> Walk for Somebody said, yeah, like a weird dog. Like, you know the, the dog that just called it? Anyway. <laughs> All right, so the next, uh, the next tip. Squat up. If you are trying to change your lifestyle, if you want to lose weight, if you want to become more active and healthy, you want to surround yourself with people who are doing the same thing. You want to associate yourself with people who are who have achieved the goal or live it, or who have who have who is living the life that you want to live, or is in the process of of uh, achieving the same thing. You are. The company you keep, as cliche as that sounds, it is so true. Get around some folks. Make friends at the gym. I know that may sound corny because Drake talking about no new friends. No, we all probably, we all need some new friends. If your old friends are just drinking and eating fast food all day and all week, all weekend, you may need some new friends. You can love them from a distance, but let them know, like, yo, listen, the vibe is health is wealth, and I'm switching it up. 2023, we not we off that. We off this abusing our bodies. They have an orange cream bubbly. You just blew my mind. Nobody told me they had an orange cream bubbly. Chelsea says she's watching this while she walks. Come on, that's why you're my superstar client. That is why you're my superstar client. Orange cream bubbly, I, damn, I'm, sheesh. I gotta give me some, I gotta, I gotta try me that. If you're just joining, brickstraining.com, I'm currently taking on online coaching clients. And I say this every time, but I only wanna work with people who are ready. Please, if you're ready, you're ready to lock in, you need accountability, you need guidance, you need support, go to brickstraining.com. I got you. I want to work with winners. I want to work with people who are ready to commit because we win. Yo, my squad, shout out to my online coaching clients. I don't, I'm pretty sure I have a few of my online coaching clients watching this right now in both Instagram and on YouTube. They know the vibes. We win. It's the culture. It's the culture. We win. We show up. That doesn't mean we're perfect. That means we continue to show up. We continue to show up. We have accountability. We honor the system. That's it. So go to brickstraining.com and uh, sign up for, for a call. Disruptive Drew, what's up? What's up, bro? 
much love to everybody watching on Instagram. I, I know you guys are looking at me, look at the YouTube screen. So I appreciate you still being present despite me kind of ignoring you guys. It's kind of hard to juggle both platforms. So if you um want to see what's going on, the interactiveness on the screen and all that, go to go to YouTube. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. All right, yeah. I, I guess at this at this time I will take some questions. If you guys have questions, I'm going to be prioritizing the questions on YouTube. But if I catch the questions on Instagram, I will address those as well. For sure. All right. How old were you? Damn, I'm over here trying to touch my um, MacBook screen like an idiot. How old were you when you started losing weight? I was, I had just turned 30. I was 30 years old. And it's coming up on 40, I mean, 10 years. Damn, I'm about to, I'm about to turn 40 this year. September 7th, your boy is turning 40 years old. This is mind blowing. And I'm, I'm proud of it, to be honest. But yeah, I was, I was 30 when I started. But let me tell you guys this. My dad, my dad lost weight. He lost 100 pounds and he was in his 60s. So I don't want to hear, oh, I'm too old. I can't. No, it doesn't matter. You can still get to it. You can still transform your body at any age. It's a lot of this stuff that we've been blaming on genetics is, yeah, your, your father, your grandfather, your great grandfather had diabetes because they all had shitty diets. It's not saying it's, it's not because they passed it to each other. It's because y'all because they all had terrible habits. Habits. All right, Anthony Diaz says, man, your boy is ready. I just signed up. I'm tired of this fat and fat and fly mentality. <laughs> Honestly, listen, it's all good. You had that season for fat and fly. Now it's time for fit and fly. Let's do it. All right. Next question. How much sex did you have to drop in order to get gains? How much sex did you have to drop in order to get gains? That's if you were having any. I don't even understand this question, but we're going to keep it moving. Yo, Bricks, what's good? I'm 6'2", 375. Can you give me some high-volume, low-calorie foods to eat? There's this thing called ChatGPT. And if you just type, <laughs> type in high-volume, low-calorie foods, it will give you unlimited amounts, truly. It's the it's a way more effective way to get that answer question question answered, but for me, uh, well, egg whites is, is my go to. Um, pop popcorn. If we're talking about snacks, obviously all veggies. Um, yeah, just Google it. Let's go, Anthony Diaz. I'm looking forward to speaking to you, bro. Thanks for all your content. I appreciate that because it, it takes it takes uh, it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of work to create the content. You know what, Monica? Monica's shaking her head at my my chat GPT. For for everyone watching on on Instagram, I don't know what I'm talking about. She's shaking her head about my chat GPT suggestion. Listen, I use chat GPT for everything. And you know what, ma'am? I'm gonna ma'am you for that. You know what, ma'am? If you if you're not on ChatGPT, if you're not using it to your advantage, you are falling behind. Hey, Bricks, what are your top three go tos when you're having sweet cravings at night? The top go to when I have a sweet craving at night is to go to sleep. <laughs> That's my go to. I try to take my ass to sleep, um, but for sure. I see my, I'm so programmed not to eat at night, so I don't really struggle at night, but when I have a sweet tooth in general, it's, you know, my protein, my protein shake does the trick. Um, Greek yogurt does the trick. Um, like I'll lean on an occasional diet soda. It helps me for sure. But for real, for real, go to sleep. Sometimes I just, you know, I'll, I'll hit some indica. I'll hit some indica, knock my ass right out. Night, night. Night, night. All right. How can a teenage girl lose fat and build muscle at the same time? 
the same way everybody else does. Well, you can't really lose fat and build muscle at the t- same time. It's separate um, processes, but yeah. I cut off my eating at 5 p.m. Good lordy. That's early. Sheesh. I hope you go to bed at 6 30. That's tough. All right. Weight loss is a lifestyle. Trust the process. That's right, Hustle Kings. Tell them, bro. Tell them. All right. For everybody watching on Instagram, we are on YouTube. So you guys are above the YouTube screen. So that's why you guys see me looking down like this. If you want to uh, ask a question, come over to YouTube. I'm taking all questions over here. All right. Um, where's the next question? Thanks for all the knowledge you're dropping, Briggs. I'm going to stay consistent. Let's go, Mook. You got this. You're filming a sweet potato tonight. What? What do you say? You filming on a sweet potato tonight, Uncle Briggs? I don't know what that means. I'm filming on a sweet potato. Okay. All right. So if you guys don't have any more questions, what's up? I'm here. I'm at your service. Use me. All right, here we go. Any tips on how to get my clients to count calories? They hate it. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have any. I don't have a response for that. I don't have any tips to get your clients to count calories. You just got to get better clients. You got to get clients who are more motivated. I guess. I don't know, bro. But nobody likes counting calories. You gotta. You have to. Here's a tip. You have to teach them the value of doing the thing that they don't feel like doing. Like you have to build up the value. You have to explain to them why it's important and show them, right? And make sure you live in the example. I mean, in this case, you may not need to, but for the most part, you got to make sure you're always living the example. I'm at 40, I'm at hour 48, hoping for a five day fast. Sheesh, man, those extended fast, I need, which reminds me, I need to do, I need to do another one. Um, how can I prevent overeating even though I eat whole foods? You can prevent overeating by tracking your eating, right? Like tracking using an app, but doing it with integrity. You got at, at some point, there's gotta be will, there's gotta be willpower. You feel me? Like this has to be discipline. There's not always hacks and tips and tricks for everything. Sometimes you just got to commit to it and do it. Show up for yourself. Make a promise to yourself and do it. How do you feel about Shanti's Insanity Workout versus other methods of training for weight loss and muscle gain? Uh, Shanti's, so if you're in the beginning of your weight loss journey and you don't really love exercise yet and your body is not really conditioned, I would say as far away from Shanti's program as possible because that shit is tough. It's tough. So all that Thai bow power, you know, uh, Shanti insanity, unless you love it, if you do it and you enjoy it, then please, by all means get to it. But if you hate your life, if you hate every moment of your life while you're doing those workouts, that is not going to help you in the long run. It's not. Instead, Go for a walk. (laughs) Just go for a walk, bro. Eat less calories and walk. Start to condition your body that way. Start to lose weight a little bit first. Get some momentum going. Maybe start off going to the gym one day a week. Lift a little bit. If you get real sore, that means you did a little too much. Dial it back. Slow, steady progress. That's it. Slow, steady progress. Don't try to do too much too fast. Take your time. Don't start off. If you are overweight, you haven't worked out in two years, don't do insanity. Why would you want? That is insanity. That is insanity. Why the hell would you want to drag your, drag yourself, do some intense ass workout? You haven't worked out in years. Why are you doing that? Do you 
Why? Why do you why why do you feel like you need to do that? You're only discouraging yourself. You're only associating hell with exercise. You're in, you're you're installing. You're traumatizing yourself. Like I hate to see these trainers with obvious newbies in the gym who are super out of out of shape, doing burpees and sit ups. For what? Why? Why? Trainers, if there's any trainers watching, why do you have your why do you have your clients doing all types of wild shit? Why? That's not helping them. That's discouraging them. That is traumatizing them. Let them start off. Let them gain some wins. Let them leave the gym feeling like they like they won, not like they got defeated. That doesn't help anyone. That doesn't help anyone. Come on. The teenager said I look good for my age. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm going to be 40 this year. 40 Audi Club, baby. Let's go. I'm proud of it. Super proud. Super proud. Super proud. What's your opinion on HIIT workouts? HIIT workouts work, but they don't work if you don't want to do them. If you if you if they discourage you, then they don't work. <laughs> That's the thing. They work if you can do them consistently. So start doing them when you can consistently do them. You feel what I'm saying? Start doing them. When, when your body can handle them. When your body can handle a head workout, that's when you start doing head workouts. But otherwise, put it, what am I about to say? Somebody put it, put it in the, uh, in the chat. Y'all know what I'm about to say. Until your body can handle head workouts, walk. Walk. Walk, walkie, walk, just walk, walk, just walk, just walk, just walk, walk. That's it. That's all you got to do. You can lose. You can transform your body. Eating a whole foods diet that is right amount of calories and walking. That's it. Maybe do a few push-ups. Throw a few push-ups in there sometimes. Do a little air squat sometimes. But do them as your body's like, yeah, give me more. Let your body ask you for some intensity. Your body will. Your body will ask you for it. When it's time for you to introduce more intensity, your body's going to say, yo, give, give me some more. But until then, don't give it some more. Just walk. Do 10 Start 10 pushups. I'm going to do 10 pushups today. I'm going to walk 10,000 steps. And I'm going to focus on my nutrition. In the kitchen. Or over here. In the kitchen. That's where you need to really put all your energy. Don't you, don't, you don't have to go in the gym and have this elaborate, like, it helps. But focus on nutrition and let the exercise piece kind of come together. Organically, if you mentally enjoy it, get it. I know Chelsea, I don't know if she's still here. Chelsea loves it. She was like, Yo, give me the hit. I want a 30 minute hit session. I'm like, All right, I got you. Let's let's get it. But you don't have to, you don't have to do all that. You don't got to do back and buys, chest and tries. If you're bodybuilding, that's something else. If you're, I'm not talking about the people, I'm, listen, I'm not talking to people who are, who are trying to, Build Greek God physiques. That's another thing, right? If that's your goal, ignore everything I'm saying. If you if your goal is to build this Greek God physique, ignore everything I'm saying. But if you just want to be healthy, you want to build a, a, a good relationship with the experience of exercise, if you just want to live a, a better lifestyle and start to enjoy, you know, physical activity and feel good if you just want to feel good when you wake up you don't want to have
pains in your back and your knees, then all you have to do is a little bit of activity and focus on your nutrition and build on that. Can I fight? Run up. Find out. That's the hard part, eating clean. Yes, the hard part is eating clean. And that's why you should put more focus on eating clean. Y'all been talking crazy in the chat. For real. All right, but I need to go for a run. Because I didn't even... I did I did yin, yang yoga today, and that burns no calories. I was basically laying on the nap, on the mat. I was just like, it was like a nap. I'll beat the brakes. My man said, he'll, Uncle Boy Boy. First of all, with, with that name, I could tell you can't fight. Your name is Uncle Boy Boy. You cannot fight, bro. You cannot fight. All right, y'all. I'm about to skate. I appreciate you guys. Uh, Brickstraining.com. If you are ready for accountability, because I'm going, I'm going to be on you. Pulse. If you're ready for support, if you're ready for a system, tap in. Brickstraining.com. I'm currently, I'm currently taking on online coaching uh, clients. I appreciate every last one of you. Appreciate my clients who. Or who are here? Yes. Do I still drink sparkling ice? I. I this is the last thing. I, I. I switched over to carbonated drinks that does it that don't really have um, food coloring in it. But once in a while, don't, don't get me wrong. I'll when I go out, I'll have like diet sodas. Like that's my that's my treat when I go out. All right. But yeah, one more question because I love you guys. Uncle Bricks, what would you have do? What would you do different if you had to start over? I would have taken my time. I was in a rush. When I started my weight loss journey, I was in a rush, and um, and I made a lot of mistakes. Well, I, so here's the thing: I wouldn't. I'm gonna answer that because that's the, the politically correct question. I mean, response. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't even do that because everything that I've learned that I now teach you guys in these videos and I teach my clients. I learned from making the mistakes. And now I want to, my job is to help you not make those mistakes. But a lot of you are not going to listen to me anyway. You're going to make the mistakes and you're either going to learn and grow or you're going to be discouraged and stay where you are. That's usually how it happens. But that's life. That is life. How old are you turning this year? I'm turning 40 this year. 30 and 39. I turn 40 September 7th. Mm hmm. All right, yeah, it's time for my run. It's time for my run. I got to go, y'all. Peace.